Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Mother Chicken's Armies. My name is Creepy Trucky, and today what we're doing is how to draw, if you can't draw, uh, a basic monocolor t-shirt design, the team being Majestic Wings. Alright, let's get a show on the road. And okay, first of all, well, we are doing all of this on Photoshop, a very old version of Photoshop Elements. So it's a pretty affordable and easily accessible software and we're drawing on layers and whenever we draw something new we put it on top of a layer on, you know, just so that we can isolate what we're drawing and modify by what we're drawing because we can't draw. We don't have the drawing skills so we need to mark and erase and mark and erase again and this is so much easier to do digitally on Photoshop instead on paper. And so, and for our design today it's about symmetry because this design is meant for uh, to adorn a monogram, the, the monogram M and A over here, and uh, at letters M and A of course are symmetrical and a good design to, uh, to adorn a symmetrical uh, monogram will be a pair of wings. Uh, wings can look really nice, but uh, some we had to choose the right creature. Obviously, we're not going to use a bat in this situation. And some people would think of eagle wings, but the truth is, the wings that look really nice comes from the humble dove. And for a reference of dove wings, we are going to use this photograph over here, which is the old TriStar television logo, the Pegasus. Now, the Pegasus the photograph of the Pegasus is actually a composite of a white horse on top of a, uh, of a dove. So you can't see the body of the dove because the horse is covering it, but those wings belongs to a dove and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start tracing the design on, t on a new layer in Photoshop we do that by zooming in zoom in gee whiz. here we go we zoom in until the features kitty not right now are, are nice and invisible we pick a nice pink color for sketching as per convention we open up a new layer in Photoshop we get a brush out coral cat Coral cat, coral cat, not right now. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh no! Now the camera have to focus, focus. Okay, and we start drawing. You can see where the brush is, and we. Oh dear, what? What is this Photoshop? What are you doing to me? Uh, no, I forgot to choose the right layer. So here we go. We try again. Take the brush, select the pink, and we start drawing. It might be, and we're tracing the, the features of the wings. Now I remember this is going to be a monocolor design, so we want to trace out the areas that are light, and against the dark areas. You can see a dark area over there. We're not going to trace out the dark area. We're going to trace out all the light colored light colored area, like so, like over here. Don't worry if you make too many mistakes because this is just a rough sketch. What we want is to uh, trace out the what, and don't trace out the horsey because, you know, we're not tracing out Pegasus design. We're tracing out the wings. Over here, this part here is very ambiguous, so we might have to come back later and make our own design for, for, if we can't see the right details. And over here, you can see a very clear light and dark selection. So this is the part that we want. We sketch it out, trace it out. I mean. There's a part that we want to fill up with color later on a new layer. And over here we don't want this. So we just sketch what appears to be illuminated. Like so. And you keep doing it until you complete the tracing the whole picture. And here's one I've done earlier. Hang on. Like so. Okay, and Obvious. The main design of uh, the, uh, the wings we are adorning is the monogram MA. We simply bring out the text from the text uh, tool of the Photoshop and we simplify the layer and we move the letters M and A around, resize them until we come up, have a pattern that we like. And this is the uh, basic the sketch of the uh, design that we're going to start painting. And again, we open up a new layer and we zoom in. And we start painting the white color, the mono color that we want to use as a design. And again, we got our brush. Now we choose white, and on a layer, 
we start painting the light colored areas that we traced out. If you don't remember, just flip the photo back on and see what the, what the reference is. See which areas are light and which areas are not light. And just paint out the white areas. Oh, not again. Ugh. Here we go. And like over here, we only paint out this part here which is, li which is light. And we leave out the areas that is black. And if you, over if, you do, if you paint outside the lines a little bit, no problem. You bring an eraser out. And we bring, uh, just delete the parts that just went over the lines a bit. And in the case of the monogram design, I decide to put the M and the A here as negative, meaning they're not painted. And instead we paint around them. So this is what I did. I just trace around using the white paint this time. And also don't forget to fill out the uh, edges of the design of such and such. And remember these bits here, these are light, slightly light, but in the monocolor, whatever is lit up, even though it's slightly, will be pure white. So here we go. These bits, if you see, remember in the photograph, is more or less grey, but they're lit up against the dark area, so we paint them white now. And you keep on doing and filling up the design, so until you get a rough paint, rough painting of the design. And here is one I did earlier. I remove the monogram and we zoom out and take a good look at it first. Yeah, so that is what you get with a rough. It is, it's rough. The camera doesn't have enough resolution. I can show you how what I mean by rough when we, because when you zoom in, you see little bits of mistakes over here and there. You see the feathers are not well defined. No problem. We do this in the cleanup process. Take out your eraser and it's, uh, not again. Uh, choose the right layer. Remember to choose the right layer. And where is it? Where is it? White paint rough. Okay. Take out your eraser. What? Oh, you can see the eraser. And we gently chip away at the rough, the rough details to clean it up. And you see this bit here is not painted properly. Bring out the brush, clean it up, paint over it. This bit here doesn't look right. Eraser. Shrink the eraser down to the right size. And gently pick at it. Oops, a bit too much. Oh, we got to paint it over again. You see, this is what happens when you can't draw. You have to use a slow and tedious process. But it will take a long time. But eventually you come up with a design that's well worth your efforts. Well, if you can draw, it's much faster. But you have to learn the basics and go to, you know, somebody to teach you how to draw. And you get the fundamentals right. But if you don't, you can do this using Photoshop. We zoom back out again. Alright, so if you do after all the cleanup, you should end up with this design. Focus. You get all the lines moved out. Check the detail. Make it look nice. You go over everything, check for all, anything that might be problematic or looks not so nice or may, might become a problem in the printing process. Now, I did leave in a few errors here, but mainly uh, to make sure that this the design is more or less an original painting even though it's derived from a tracing of a photograph. The main er main areas uh, being problem uh, errors is over here, but there should be another row of feathers, but I just didn't, there's no definition, so I couldn't exactly trace them. And I just painted in only two rows, you know, just guessing. And as you can see, there's a lighting error if you're really pedantic, but I think, I mean, that lighting error comes from the photograph, but I think that if you uh, keep the error in and shows that lighting is from one side, it actually uh, creates an interesting design rather than, uh, than a perfectly symmetrical design. But if you really want to have a symmetrical design, you can simply copy one half, flip it over, and then you have a perfectly symmetrical, de symmetrical design. Okie dokie, and this is how you can paint a majestic looking wing design for, your, uh, for a basic mono monocolor t-shirt. That's easy to print using the uh, screen printing process, cheap to print. And if you want, so uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. And here we, and to sum up uh, today, and that's about it, I think. Okay, next time on Mother Chicken Siamese, we are going to paint this other, mo a more intricate design. This thing here, entitled. Focus, please. Oh, good grief. Zoom out. Focus. Can you please focus? Jesus Christ. 
Well, if you can see it, it's this design is called Bionic Belly Button. So you have a yeah. sort of an arc reactor in the way the Bionic Button, where your belly, bu uh, belly button is supposed to be. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like on uh, below and uh, please comment below uh, and maybe suggest what you want me to see drawing. What you can see, what, uh, what I can uh, should draw next time. And please subscribe and follow this channel at the Twitter at Mother Chickens. Well, I think that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching once again. My name is Creepy Drucky. Have a good day.